to the um, student paper competition. This is the second portion of the annual Imagine Student Poster and Paper Competition. The poster competition was this morning in another room. Uh, in fact, just about an hour ago, we revealed the um, winners of the three uh, or the two scholarships for that. Um, the posters are still available across the hall for anybody to um, jump in and out in uh, between sessions and go take a look at. I highly urge you to do so. Um, but the reason we're here is for papers. We have several graduate students in attendance today that would like to share their work with you. And uh, uh, we're going to have the judges panel up here. Most of you, if you're here in the morning, you got the introduction. I keep making a joke about the introductions, but I have to introduce them again, especially for the students to know. Um, just in order here, on the end, we have Frank Sobey. He's from uh, Charles S. Mott Community College in uh, Flint. We have Dr. Ashley Shortridge from Michigan State. Claudia Walters, U of M Dearborn, and Rebecca Rogers from Lansing Community College. Uh, so that is the people you need to impress today. Um, <laughs> and as I've warned a couple of you, um, there are there is one judge that asks a lot of questions, and that's going to be Mr. Sobey. Uh, so beware, uh, he's the one you have to look out for. So <laughs> anyway, getting back to this, uh, our first presenter is going to be Frank Romo. Uh, from the University of Michigan. Before we get into the presentations, uh, Imagine President Tom Van Bruggen is going to give everybody a little bit of a welcome and um, talk about Imagine for a second. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> yeah, so just a couple of quick slides, nothing uh, fancy, but number one, I want to just thank our sponsors, Infogeographics, who's uh, helping sponsor our awards today, and State of Michigan, DTMB, uh, uh, and all of the staff from the state that have been so welcoming and helpful today. Uh, from setup to planning and everything involved. So thank you to them. I also want to extend a big thank you out to the Imagine Student Paper and Poster Competition planning <coughs> team, led by Pete. Uh, he's been sharing this for, I think this is the third year, and uh, so we uh, have a lot of respect and thanks to Pete for putting this together the last couple of years. Also on the team this year were Diane O'Connell, Brooks Kelly, Kathleen Stack, Andrew Gaguer and Scott Swan. I believe Kathleen is here with us as well. The others were not able to be here this afternoon, but uh, thank you to them. I also want to thank our judges. Uh, he just introduced them, so I won't go through all the names again, but again, thank you judges for all of your work throughout the day today. I appreciate that, and it really uh, helps us make this an exceptional event, so thank you very much. Um, just a list of the names. I kind of thanked the state earlier, but Everett, Nan, Joel, Mike, Josh, and Katina. Thank you to all the state employees that have uh, helped us throughout this whole planning and also today. All the way from my last minute, almost not being able to video anything because I don't have the right tripod mount. So. 3M, we thank you this afternoon too for your little tape. So just a couple of quick slides about Imagine. Imagine is simply an organization throughout the state uh, that tries to um, promote the use of geospatial technologies. Uh, IMAGINE itself stands for Improving Michigan's Access to Geographic Information Networks. Uh, been around since the early 90s and um, has just evolved uh, into a wonderful organization that represents geospatial professional, professionals throughout the state of Michigan. Um, our vision, simply to improve Michigan's access to geospatial technologies, providing opportunities for professional interaction and fostering collaboration and networking. Pretty straightforward, I won't go into a lot, but if you have comments or questions, feel free to see myself, Pete. Uh, we've got a couple other board members that'll be trickling in after they get back from lunch as well. So, um, I already said what our uh, acronym stands for. Again, founded in 1993. Uh, current membership is in the neighborhood of 150 representing private government, university, and nonprofit uh, agencies throughout the state of Michigan and from outside of the state as well. Um, our <coughs> second, our biggest event of the year is actually our annual education and, uh, yeah, our annual conference, I'm sorry. That's going to be happening June 7 to 9, uh, 2015, up in Traverse City. We have uh, two uh, highly respected keynotes. We have Christian Carlson from Esri. He's the head of the uh, state and local government sector at Esri. He'll be uh, one of our Monday morning keynote. And David Bayan from the state of Michigan as the CIO and uh, head here. Um, he'll be speaking to us uh, again on Tuesday morning. He spoke a few years back and we're gonna get a nice update from the, his perspective on what's happening at the state levels. Uh, 
We have slots for 27 different educational uh, sessions, half hour breakout session uh, type things where you get high intensity uh, presentations on a wide variety of topics. Uh, I've list listed just a few of those out. I won't read through all the slides. Um, we have work sessions and workshops. Uh, on Tuesday afternoon, there will be um, four different uh, work sessions, one for the Michigan GIS Users Group, which would be this group, um, the morning type session that goes around and whatever Everett plans for the afternoon. The state will have a uh, forum there for a users group. There's going to be a LIDAR workshop. Ezra Hands-On Learning Lab will actually be open throughout the entire conference. Uh, where you can go in and take mini classes for short periods of time. They've got like 12 modules that you can do, um, all led by uh, Esri. Then there's also going to be the Higher Education State um, GIS Users Group, where they're dealing with um, how to leverage the GIS technologies, not only at the college level, but then be able to integrate that into the K-12 environments as well, which is a big push. So there will be uh, work sessions and workshops on that. We also have a special two-day Esri Python training course that's going to be occurring on Tuesday and Wednesday. So it does extend one day past the conference. Um, but that'll be from June 9 and 10, and that'll be an Esri-led, Esri-instructed two-day Python training course. So if you get more information, you can see our website on that. And of course, obviously, with any conference, you need to provide professional networking. We've got vendor displays, uh, and we've got social outings planned starting all the way from Sunday afternoon through uh, the close of the conference on Tuesday. So that's coming up soon. See our website, imagine.org, um, for all the details on that, or speak with one of us here later today. And that's all I had. Just a quick little uh, introduction to Imagine. Again, thank you to all of you for being interested enough to come out and see these students in their presentations this afternoon. So thank you. Just a couple little notes before we get started. I wanted to outlay or overlay how. Uh, Everything is going to work. Um, we have six presentations. Each presenter is going to get about 20 minutes to, to convey their presentation. They can go short. They can go a little bit over. Um, as long as that's going to cut into their question time. Um, basically, uh, the, they will not be penalized if it does go shorter than 20 minutes or slightly over. Um, that being said, we uh, um, will be presenting one scholarship award for the amount of $750 to the winner. Um, however, the top three um, finishers will receive um, a conference registration to our annual conference in Great Wolf Lodge in Traverse City as Tom just got down highlight highlighting and also uh, a night stay at the Great Wolf Lodge um, to present their work in front of the entire Imagine membership. So once again that's on June 7th to the 9th. 